Hey guys, how's it going? It's AP Eric. So earlier this last week, I had the pleasure of trying Hitman for the first time. Never played the Hitman games ever. Hitman 3 came out and I reviewed it, took a look at it, was kind of mixed at it at first, but then I realized once I figured out how the game mechanics work, that it was a lot of fun. Well, an interesting article came out and it's touting the success of Hitman 3, which good on them. You know what? This is a very good news to see. Hitman 3 recoups their project cost in under a week. That's impressive, honestly. Um, so it says, Hitman 3 is already profitable. IO Interactive has announced. The Stealth Gamer game, the Stealth game launched last week, immediately shot to the top of the UK charts, and it has recouped its development cost in under seven days. That is excellent. That is a successful run of a game. They go on to say, we've been really happy with the Hitman 3 journey, says CEO Hakan Abrak. It has been a labor of love between our fans and everyone at the studio. As a developer and publisher, we are immensely proud that we can say Hitman 3 is already pro profitable. We have recouped the total project cost in less than a week. That puts us in a really good place and allows us to confidently move forward with our ambitious plans for future projects so good on them that is good to see development studios do it and the reason why this is such a big deal and this says it right here is hitman 3 is the first full game in the series that was self-published by the studio so they they took a risk and they recouped it abrek tells gameindustry.biz that keeping marketing and pr close to development team has been a huge benefit so they tried something different this go around and came out a winner. So we've been able to create a game that our players will love and bring it to them in the most direct way possible. Developed and published by IOI, he tells us. Having that focus early on has kept us on a path that we all believed in. Everyone at the studio is behind the vision for the game and they knew the Hitman universe better than anyone. So I mean, yeah, if you if you're if it ain't broken, don't fix it. If you're good at something, you know, do it yourself. Whatever whatever cliche you want to do here. Regardless, that's very good on them. I, I personally, again, I never played a Hitman series game before. So when Hitman 3 came out and people were like, yo, Eric, you need to check this game out. You know, I was getting messages left and right on my live chat and in my Discord to check the game out and play it. And I sat down and took the time to check it out so much that I am going to get the Hitman 2 collection and the Hitman 1 season, whatever they're called. I'm going to go get those games on PS4 and, and Xbox or whatever. And uh, was definitely glad to experience it. So good on them. It says the combination makes us very effective as a publisher because we have our creative and development teams working closely with publishing and marketing throughout the entire project. We need that collaboration because all we all want to create a quality product. We demand of each other that our games are handcrafted, meticulously detailed, and unique. At this point, we'd be doing our community a disservice if we deliver anything less than that. And you know what? This is refreshing to see a game developer, especially after the cyberpunk nonsense, to hold itself to such a higher standard, to making sure that everything is run properly and stuff like that. That's actually refreshing. <laughs> They said they're used to seeing uh, uh, to us setting a really high bar for quality and memorable experiences. So we keep that mentality at the front of our mind, not only for Hitman, but also our future projects. So definitely a refreshing thing to hear and uh, very high morale for IOI. Seems like they are very happy with what has gone on. They did shoot to the top of the UK charts. And you can see... Uh, Hitman has taken number one in the UK box charts with launch sales up 17% over its predecessor. And um, definitely good. So that was from 2018 to 2021. So good three years. Um, it was published by Warner Brothers last. Now they did their own. Um, it says uh, Hitman's chart topping debut means Animal Crossing drops to number two. Although only 800 games sep separate the two titles, Animal Crossing sales dropped 8% week on week. Animal Crossing has been killing it in 2020. So for Hitman 3 to come out and, and just basically top the chart, good on them. 
So some new PS5 consoles were released in the market last week, which had a positive impact on a few titles. Miles Morales was up 161%, jumping from 12 to 4. Demon Souls re-enters the charts at number 27 with a 291% increase. And then there were sale bombs for Black Ops Cold War up 56%. And Assassin's Creed up 7% with the PS5 versions for both of those. So in total, PS5 game sales increased 324% week on week. Another big riser was Ring Fit Adventure. So you can see again the charts. We got Hitman 3 at 1. Animal Crossing 2. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe still chugging along. <laughs> it's amazing how old that game is and how well it's still doing. Miles Morales, Cold War, GTA 5, speaking of older games. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure, Just Dance 21, Minecraft Switch, and FIFA. So definitely good look for Hitman 3. Ooh, very successful. Again, I personally never played them in the past. I've heard such great things about the games. I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. What did you think of Hitman 3 and them being able to recoup their lost? And subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.